lovebugs, this is Nikki from Call Me Ruby. I pray you're having an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening. Whenever this message so finds you, I am just so excited to release this word, you all. You all know that sometimes quite a few days go by before I release a word, but the Father began to speak to me last night, and He has continued to do so today, and I had to get this word out ASAP. Listen, let me first welcome my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the family. I am so excited to have you. To those of you who have been with me for quite some time, I am blessed to know that you are enjoying your stay. Okay, you all, I don't even know where to begin because this message is just mm -mm, good. My prayer is that it blesses and encourages you just as it did me. You all, let me tell you, last night got really real and it happened fast. The Holy Spirit just swooped in and changed the whole atmosphere. I was in here worshiping, praising God, shouting out unto the Lord. My poor dog did not know what to think. She was looking at me like, are you okay? <laughs> she surely should be used to how I get down when it comes to praising the Father. As a matter of fact, when I get really excited, she'll grab her little toy in her mouth and just start slinging it all around all crazy. That's her way of praising the Lord, I guess. But anywho, you all, the presence of the Lord was just so strong in here last night. I had so much joy, so much expectancy, and the Father began to speak and move. It all began last night. I was just sitting here, just taking some time to relax because the last few days have been busy busy okay and i was just sitting here thinking about my last message the things you all had shared and listen like i always say you guys so encouraged and blessed me by the things you share as it pertains to my messages but i was just sitting here and it began to rain now the lord knows i love me some rain there's just something so beautiful and so sacred when it comes to rain and the father has oftentimes used rain to seal his words unto me so many times and i think i shared this with you all in a previous video there are so many times when the father will reveal to me a powerful word and he will oftentimes seal it with rain not just any kind of rain but a heavy downpour so as it began to rain last night. I heard my little behind in the kitchen. I brewed me some coffee and I sat down on this couch and waited for the father to speak because I just knew he was about to show out, okay? I knew it. And so as I sat there listening to the rain, I began to hear a song in my spirit. And this song, I'm telling you all, this song was on repeat. And so I just began to sing it out. And it was, Lord of the Breakthrough, Lord of the Breakthrough, you are the Lord of the Breakthrough, I worship you, I worship you. Now y'all hear how she just want to be disrespectful and just ruin this moment. <laughs> Actually, it's Amazon delivery outside. That's a breakthrough, I guess. Being serious. This message is going to be about breakthrough and how strategic, how timely of God to have a package delivered to my house as I'm singing about breakthrough. Breakthrough as it pertains to what he has told you is about to happen. These things are simply about to show up. This can pertain to your ordained spouse finally coming to claim you it can be an answer to a question you've been asking the father for quite some time it can be regarding a location change a job an occupation so many things but the father wanted me to get on here and encourage you on today that he is indeed the lord of the breakthrough and he is causing a breakthrough in so many of your lives now so let me get back to what I was sharing with you all about how this all transpired. Like I said, I was sitting here listening to the rain. The song Lord of the Breakthrough dropped in my spirit. And as I began to sing it, thunder began to roar. And I so enjoyed a great storm. It just seems the Father speaks so much to me through storms. I don't know what it is. It's just something special that me and the Father share that I so enjoy. And I just continued to sing, Lord of the Breakthrough. And it seemed like the thunder just got louder and louder. And I even saw some lightning. And in that moment, I closed my eyes and I saw a vision, y'all. 
I saw a vision of glass being shattered in the spirit. Now, what was amazing about this is that I had the same vision, I guess, over a year or so back as I was questioning the father about some things about location change. And here I am again facing the same situation, asking the father where he wants me. And once again, I see this glass shattering. Now, the last time this happened, I was shifted into a new location. It wasn't what I expected, but it was what was best and what the father wanted in that moment. And it caused me to be able to have the time to develop this ministry. Like I told you all in the last video, he wanted me focused on this ministry, the ministry of helping so many of you all birth these promises. And listen, as I am stating that, I think about how the father kept putting a doer in my spirit. And now I see how that can be in the spirit as well. He has called me to be a spirit to doula assisting so many and birthing forth these promises now and listen you all it has been so fulfilling it has been so amazing i told you all in the last message that the lord pretty much shut down any efforts on my part to try and get work he was like listen this is where i want you and i knew my spirit that there was going to come a time when he was going to call me into this. I've known since I was a teenager that he was going to use me in the field of marriage and family. So I was not at all surprised when he began to cause me to focus on this and this alone. Let me get back to this glass shattering in my vision. So like I said, I had the vision of the glass shattering. But not only did I see the glass shattering, but what I also noticed was that there was a red glove covering the hand of the one that was hitting the glass. It was a red boxing glove. And he began to give me revelation in regards to what that meant, you all. And I just wanted to shout, scream, just tear this house up, okay? The red glove represented his love, his covering. We all know that red is symbolic of what he did for us on the cross. He shed his blood for us and in him doing so, so much changed for our lives. Just as that red glove covered and protected that hand, see that as the father covering and protecting us all as we break through into our promised land and receive the promises that he had stored up for us. And the Holy Spirit also revealed that that red boxing glove covering our hand as we broke through symbolized God's power. Red is often used in the Bible to symbolize power, strength, determination. And the Father is wanting us to know that He is going ahead of us with a mighty blow, you are a mighty blow. We are breaking through. And that glass, while it indeed was a barrier, don't see that as a bad thing. Glass allows us to see what's on the other side, right? The Father has been speaking to our spirits, what He is doing, what He is bringing into our lives. He has been prophesying so many things, and it has brought us joy, it has brought us hope, but we have not yet been able to access some of those things. Well, guess what, you all? The Father is saying it is time, and He is breaking through so we can have access to what's on the other side of that glass. Hallelujah. Y'all better praise him. It is simply the set time. He is Lord of the breakthrough. The breakthrough is not always meaning we have to break through something, you know, negative. Now, listen, it can be bondage. It can be delay. It can be hindrances. Yes, some of us have to break through those things. But a lot of us. Simply were being protected because it was not the set time. We could not go ahead of God because we would mess up what the Father first saw. In moving ahead of God, we caused delay. We set ourselves up to have to learn lessons that cause us to be hindered in what the Father's trying to do. So by that glass being there, it was his protection. But God is so good that he was allowing us to see what he had for us, to know and to hear what he was bringing into our lives. So now I want you just to close your eyes and just envision that glass being shattered. I just decree and declare that all under the sound of my voice who are in their season of marriage, entering their land of milk and honey, those whom the Father has decreed and declared is entering this place of promise, of purpose, and marital bliss that the glass, the barrier between you and it is being shattered in the mighty name of Jesus. He is Lord of the breakthrough and you are about to experience what he's been speaking to your spirit for however long it has been. 
you might as well go ahead and celebrate because you are about to see what he has been prophesying. He is decreeing that he is Lord of the breakthrough and he is breaking you through. Take a minute if you need to because I feel like I need to. The Lord is wanting to move, okay? I'm going to be right here. Listen, you all, I am so excited. I know you all feel it all in your spirit. He has been speaking to you that it is time. While we have been hearing that for quite some time, there are levels to this thing. We know that it's about to happen. The signs are so evident. You are experiencing his breakthrough. Now, listen, you all, like I said, this all began with the Father putting in my spirit the song, Lord of the Breakthrough. And normally I would share with you the lyrics to that. But it basically says the same thing over and over. Lord of the breakthrough. Lord of the breakthrough. We worship you. We worship you. So listen. The Father just wants to encourage you that he is breaking you through on today. For those of you who know you are in your season of receiving what the Father has promised you. And he wants you to know on today. Well done. My good and faithful servant. You have done well. And I am about to reward you. With that which you've been watching behind the glass. Listen, y'all, I'm trying to stay calm. So after I sung that song for I don't know how long, I could not stop singing that song, y'all. And there was so much power that filled the room and filled my spirit as I decreed and declared that he was indeed Lord of the breakthrough and was breaking us through. I can't get off of it, y'all. I just I just can't get off of it. But okay. So I asked the Father for a scripture because I always like to provide scripture for what the Father is saying just for confirmation and to allow you to know that it is indeed the Father. And I was led to Micah 2.13 and boy did my spirit rejoice. Now, I enjoy quite a few interpretations of this passage, but let me first share with you the interpretation that was in the Amplified Bible. And again, this is Micah 2, 13, and it states, The breaker, the Messiah who opens the way, shall go up before them, liberating them. They will break out, pass through the gate, and go out. So their king goes on before them. The Lord at their head. You all, that just gets me so excited. But before I go on, let me read to you the same scripture in the New King James Version. And it states, The one who breaks open will come up before them. They will break out, pass through the gate, and go out by it. Their king will pass before them with the Lord at their head. Listen, the father is wanting you to know you are breaking through. And this scripture just shows that the father indeed goes ahead of us to break out for us. And that just further confirms what that red boxing glove in my vision symbolized. He goes before us. He was protecting us. He was taking the brunt of what it took to Break through that glass. Isn't that just like Jesus? He is the king who goes before us, prepares the way, and is leading us into our land of milk and honey. Glory be to God. Okay. As if that was not enough. The father was laying it on thick, you all. I'm surprised I wasn't just slain in the spirit, okay? But after that occurrence, I gathered myself, and then I began to hear another song in my spirit. And when that song dropped in my spirit, I was like, okay, God, you just trying to have me prostrate, laid out on the floor, boohooing. Because the song he dropped in my spirit was a song I so enjoyed dancing to back in my days where I was dancing at church. And the title of the song was, The Presence of the Lord is Here. And the version that I danced to was the Byron Cage version. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with that song. It's a popular song. I know it's been done by quite a few artists, but the version that just has me prostrate <laughs> is the Byron Cage version. And as the Lord brought that to my spirit, it also brought a beautiful memory back to my mind as it pertains to the Father wanting us to know we are indeed birthing. God brought back to my memory how my brother, when he first visited my church, I was dancing to that song 
Presence of the Lord by Byron Cage. And he always jokes about how I was up there getting it. He said I was just so full of joy. I was cheesy and serious about letting it be known that the presence of the Lord was indeed in that place. And I kid you not. I had to have at least been five to six months pregnant during that time. And while I was able to, I was going to do it. So the church allowed me to dance for as long as I felt I could do so. I always told the father, use my dance to be an instrument, to be an expression of all that you are to your people. When the father brought that memory to my mind about how I was pregnant, dancing to that song, it was like a full circle moment. And he caused me to know I brought that song to your spirit because that is what is happening now just as you were up there dancing full of joy as you carried this baby in your belly many may not have continued to do the work the father was telling them to do because they felt tired because they may have felt weighed down because of the baby they were carrying in their womb but you continue to do what i was telling you to do while you awaited this birth are y'all hearing this in the spirit you are full of the things that I've been nurturing in you, cultivating you for, and the time is now for those things to be birthed and experienced by those who I am putting in your path to benefit from those things. Listen, you all, you have not been carrying these things for just yourself. These ventures, these new jobs, these new ministries, whatever the Father is doing in you in this new place, you were not carrying this just for you. This was for God's will to be done in the earth. This was for kingdom business. And the father is saying, you have carried this thing well. You have done well in your pregnancy. You have worked. You've continued to plow. And now it's time to birth forth these things that are going to bring you so much joy. So much peace and so much fulfillment. And all those around you are going to benefit from it. Now, I will read the lyrics of this song, although many of you are probably familiar with it. I will not go into any interpretation or revelation in regards to this song. I just ask that you allow the Father to speak to your heart what He desires to speak to you as I'm reading these lyrics. I just decree and declare that you receive confirmation, you receive instruction, and you are encouraged by these lyrics. Again, the name of the song is The Presence of the Lord is Here, and it's by Byron Cage. If you feel led, go look it up on YouTube Music or whatever and listen. This song is so powerful. The lyrics go as follows. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. The spirit of the Lord is here. The spirit of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The power of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. Everybody blow the trumpets and sound the alarm. Because the Lord is in the temple. Let everybody bow. Let all the people praise his name. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. A blessing from the Lord is here. A blessing from the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. A blessing from the Lord is here. A blessing from the Lord is here. Y'all, I'm trying to stay calm, but the spirit is like, all in this place right now and then it goes into what i assume is considered the bridge and it states i can feel the presence of the lord and i'm going to get my blessing right now and it just keeps repeating that i can feel the presence of the lord and i'm going to get my blessing right now declare that in your spirit I can feel the presence of the Lord and I'm going to get my blessing right now. Listen, the Father enjoys when we get about it, about it, when we get serious about what he said about us. And then it just ends with the presence of the Lord is here. You all, I pray that you feel the spirit as I read those lyrics. The presence of the Lord is indeed here. 
We know that it's always here. But the Father just wants you to know that His presence is here to deliver and break through so many of us. As we have come to this place of fulfilled promises, the blessing of the Lord is here. Listen, I cannot wait to hear the testimonies because I know that a lot of you are indeed experiencing breakthrough right now. And I know that a lot of you are going to feel his breakthrough, experience his breakthrough in the coming days. You're going to see what he's been showing you and decreeing to your spirit. And you're about to experience these things tangibly. The presence of the Lord is here to break us through you all. Psalm 1611 states, In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. In his presence is indeed joy, joy unspeakable. And listen, the Father is saying, with that come so many pleasures. These ordained spouses, purpose, the things that can speak to your spirit, they are indeed pleasures, are they not? So I started to edit this video last night when I received this word. And tried to get it out last night as well because it was a quick word and I knew it was something the Father wanted me to release quickly. But something told me, just wait till the next day. Just wait because I felt like the Father was going to add something to it. And indeed, I was right. Upon waking this morning, I was just lying there. And I was just thinking about things I had to do that day and things that were taking place that day. And I closed my eyes for but a second and there was a vision. In this vision, I saw a celebrity couple. I don't think their identity is important, so I will leave that out of this. But I saw a celebrity couple rushing out of a building. And I noticed that they were dragging alongside them cheetah print luggage. And the father began to reveal to me in my spirit where they were heading. I had recently saw a video about a week or so ago about this celebrity couple. As they were heading out to be with the surrogate who was indeed delivering their first child. They had experienced fertility problems so they had got a surrogate to deliver their child and they were rushing out as they had just received news that she was in labor and it was sooner than they had thought so they had to rearrange things change plans and just leave sooner than they thought and then the Holy Spirit brought my attention to the cheetah print luggage and of course I thought about speed and I thought about the video I shared a while back about the cheetah sitting in the doorway waiting for the father to say it's go time when the father says it's go time these things are going to happen swiftly and I thought about that as I saw that cheetah print luggage they were moving swiftly because the time had arrived although it was sooner than they thought it was still in the time frame in which they were expecting it to happen so listen you all what the father's wanting to reveal in that is that you have known for quite some time that it was go time but he has decreed and declared as we are entering our breakthrough that it is time and you have to be in a position to move swiftly and this is not always about physical things, okay? There is a lot of focus placed on being ready physically. But the Father wants you to know that this is more so a spiritual readiness. You need to be ready to adjust, to shift, and move however He says to do so. So the Lord just brought something back to my spirit that He shared with me as I was lying down. Was it today? Yesterday. It was last night as I was drifting off to sleep. He said, you're going to hear from him. You're going to hear from him. And I need you to be confident. And I sensed in my spirit that he was speaking in terms of a phone call because he has revealed this to me in times past that I was going to get a phone call from my kingdom spouse. And I felt in my spirit upon hearing those words, it was about to happen soon. When I thought about him saying, and I need you to be confident, I was like, hmm. I thought I was confident and I began to ponder what he meant in saying that. And the father just unctioned me to look up the word confident. So let's look at that before I move on. A definition that just stood out to me the most states, being certain of your abilities, having trust in people, plans, or the future. Listen, are you all hearing that in the spirit? As I lay there, and allowed the Father to reveal to me what exactly he meant by that. The Father is wanting us to be confident 
in our abilities, confident in who he has made us to be through our process. Our process did a lot, you all. It molded, bent us, and just caused us to be who we are for purpose and for this union. And he wants us to be confident in our abilities. Take the focus off of what you had to go through, what you might still be going through, what you feel about yourself right now. Just take your mind off of all of that and see yourself the way the Father sees you. He is saying, be confident. Know who you are in me. And this confidence comes from staying in his presence, you all. When you are in the Father's presence, he makes it known who you are. He causes you to see yourself through his lens. And listen, you strut and sashay just a little bit different when you know who you are, okay? And he's saying, listen, your confidence is going to go a long way. As it comes to this union and this man. Just like the definition said. Confidence is also trust in people. Plans in the future. He needs to know that you are confident. In regards to the things the father has spoken to you. And him about your future together. About the plans the father has for you. In other words he needs you to be on board. So the father is saying. As he brings his encounter your way. Whether it be a phone call. Whether you run into this person just out and about. Whether he texts you. Whether he reaches out to you on social media. I don't know how it's going to happen. But he is saying. Enter it with confidence. Speak with boldness and confidence. And allow the father to speak through you. Okay. I feel the father wanted to bring this to our attention. Because as the time approaches. As we are about to have these encounters. The enemy is running havoc on some people's minds. He's causing you to doubt what the Lord said. To doubt that you're even worthy of this thing. To feel like this person is out of your league. To feel like you're not ready. He's even causing some to have insecurities. As it pertains to their ordained spouses. Are they really the right person? When you've been standing for this person for so long. There are so many things he's doing to try to put a wrench in what the father is doing. But his instructions are simply this. Be confident. Be confident. Remember who you are. Remember who you have become in this process. Remember the conversations from the secret place. I am with you. And you are equipped with a confidence that's going to bring peace to your spouse. So I had every intention of uploading this video this morning, but upon waking, I received a text message from my cousin, more like a sister because we're super close. And this text message was detailing a dream she had last night. And you all would not believe what this dream entailed. I'm not going to give a lot of detail because it was for me, but I'm sharing it because it is showing you how God indeed confirms things he says to us and he does so swiftly. He is not playing around you all in regards to these encounters that we are about to face. You all in this dream, her and I were driving to a favorite spot and in the process, I received a phone call. Now, at first, I did not answer the phone call because I wasn't sure of who it was. Although the number that appeared was the state that my kingdom spouse resided in, I still did not think it was him. But my cousin said, that could be so-and-so. After that, that number called again. And as I answered the phone, lo and behold, it was indeed my kingdom spouse. Just as I said, as I was drifting off to sleep, he told me he's going to call. He's going to call and I want you to be confident. And this morning, my cousin revealed a dream she had on this thing actually happening. And I failed to mention, I had not spoken to my cousin in regards to what I heard the night before. You all, prepare for these encounters. They are about to happen. You are breaking through and you are about to receive these things the Father has been showing you for quite some time. Okay, love bug says, one more thing I want to add to this video before I conclude. So today, as I was preparing to upload this video... I happened to go on my YouTube to check my messages and the first video I saw on my YouTube feed was a video from a woman that I have saw on YouTube before and the title of her video caught my attention. So I clicked on it and I had no idea where she was going with this whole video at first. But when she mentioned a song that the father had brought to my attention about a month ago, I stopped in my tracks and I knew in my spirit the father was confirming some things he had spoken to my spirit as it pertains to my kingdom spouse. The first thing that caught my attention is like I said that about a month ago, I was listening to another song 
on YouTube Music and as that song went off, another song began to play. And this song was a song that I so enjoyed from a movie that I used to watch a lot entitled The Karate Kid Part 2. Now, I know a lot of you have saw that movie. It is a beautiful movie. I so enjoy the plot. I like the love story. And I just like the fact that it was based in Okinawa. I lived in Okinawa for three years that place is special to my heart and so that made the movie even more special after the fact but anywho i knew that the father bringing the song to my attention again meant he wanted me to go back and listen to it and you all the name of this song is glory of love it's by peter satara i hope i'm pronouncing his name right if i'm not sure grace but it's by peter satara and this song caught my attention back then when the movie first came out it's such a beautiful song i like the sound of it and the words are just beautiful so as he brought that to my attention again today i went back to listen and the part that stood out to me was the chorus and the verse that came after the chorus so let me read that to you all and then i'll go into what the holy spirit shared as i listen to these lyrics and the chorus goes as follows i am a man who will fight for your honor i'll be the hero you're dreaming of we'll live forever knowing together that we did it all for the glory of love then the verse i spoke of that follows the chorus says it's like a knight in shining armor from a long time ago just in time i will save the day take you to my castle far away I pray the Holy Spirit spoke to you as you listened to those lyrics. Yes, and you all. Everything that you've been going through, you and your ordained spouse, has all been for the glory of love. But before I even get into that, it all began because of the love the Father has for you and the love He's cultivated in you for Him getting glory through your story. You all, it's all about glory, the glory of love. Christ made the ultimate sacrifice to show us his love. And because of that, we have submitted our lives, our everything to giving him glory. That is what the glory of love is all about. And that is what I heard as I listened to these lyrics, you all. And this waiting process has all been for the glory of love. God has wrote this story so beautifully and he has given us the patience the obedience and whatever was needed to see this thing through to fulfillment he knew that it was all about the glory of love he knew that for it to be the way he foresaw it he had to take a step by step and allow us to mature and grow and that is on both ends your spouse he'll be the hero you've been dreaming of that is because the father was first your hero. He shows you that he was your hero by all that he's done for you now and then. And this spouse whom he is bringing into your life will be your hero in the natural. You will see the father has caused him to be exactly what you need. And he's going to be a hero in your eyes because of the way he just caters to you. And I'm not talking about merely financially or what he can do for you, you know, as it pertains to things or whatever. I'm talking about the way he will love and cover you. The way that he will understand you like nobody else can. People will look at your relationship and see Jesus. They will see love in its most genuine form because you've allowed the Father to do what he do. It's all been for the glory of love. And you will live forever knowing that together you did it all for the glory of love. Is that not beautiful, you all? And listen, you all, the line that said, I am a man who will fight for your honor. It had me, y'all. It had me. Your spouse has fought for your honor in the fact that he's allowed God to walk him through this process. He has not moved ahead of God. He has allowed God to do all he needed to do in him to prepare him for this union, to prepare him to be your covering and whatever you need. That is how he has fought for your honor. He could have moved ahead of God. He could have done things out of order. And that would not have brought you or God honor. But because he submitted to the Father and a man who desires to fight for your honor, fight for your future together, he has allowed the Father to do things in his perfect timing. Now listen, as much as I don't like to say this, this is not for everyone. We are all in different seasons and places. 
you will know this is for you because it is indeed confirmation in regards to what he has been speaking to you what you've been experiencing what you know to be as it pertains to the love story that God is writing for you and your spouse you are both submitted to the father and allowing him to lead and guide you through this process this is for you and you will know that because your spirit rejoices as you listen to this message let me go back to the hero part I'll be the hero you've been dreaming of. Some of us have indeed been dreaming about our hero, our ordained spouse. God has given some of us dreams to confirm what he said. For those of you who know who your spouse is, he's giving you dreams to keep you hopeful, to cause you to continue to stand for this thing. And some of you have been giving dreams and you don't even know who this individual is yet. You're just dreaming about your encounter. You're dreaming about your future together. So the father is saying, the man that you've been dreaming about, the man he's been speaking to your spirit about, it's about to be a real thing. And he is going to indeed be a hero. And then it goes into the beautiful verse that the father highlighted. And it begins with, it's like a knight in shining armor from a long time ago. And when I hear that line, knight in shining armor, the first knight that comes to my spirit is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Is he not our knight in shining armor? came in and saved the day he died on the cross so that we can be in right relationship with him so that we can be redeemed and we can receive his spirit and now as we have allowed him to take us through our process and prepare us he is sending our knight in shining armor this man will indeed be your knight in shining armor because the father has indeed chosen him for you from the very beginning of time and the words from a long time ago indeed stick out because like I just said it just shows the father chose you you two for each other from the very beginning of time and that's why it's going to feel like you've always known each other it's not doing things god's way so very beautiful i wouldn't trade it for the world you all and when i hear those lines just in time i will save the day take you to my castle far away so many things come to my spirit and I can't help but continue to go back to Christ's sacrifice and how what he did for us changed everything. He has indeed prepared a place for us in heaven. And we know that it's full of many mansions and so many beautiful things that he's just going to whisk us away to when it's the time. And not only is that pertaining to our heavenly home, but here on earth, we can have a heaven here on earth. But I'm jumping ahead of myself. I'm supposed to be focusing on the line. Just in time, I will save the day. So let me get back to that. The Father just wants to encourage you all that no matter what it is that you're needing right now, He is going to come in just in time to save the day. Your spouse is going to come in just in time to save the day. This really ministers to me because I am in a position in which I am also experiencing a major shift. There have been a lot of moves shifts and transitions within the last year and what i have learned through my channel and just by talking to other individuals the father has so many of us in situations where he told us to sell our homes sell this sell that move here or even don't move yet some have even lost their jobs out of nowhere and where there was usually no issue finding another job they have come against some resistance as it pertains to that you all there's a reason why these things are happening to so many of god's people and it's not because we are under judgment it's not because we did something wrong at least not the ones i'm speaking to right now because god has been showing me it is all purposeful he is shifting so many and listen, there is a remnant. Not everybody can go through this. Not everybody is built to be able to be obedient, to be able to be stripped of things, to be able to flow in God's divine flow. Not everybody can do that. But for those of you who have stood with the Father, who have trusted and obeyed, you are breaking through. And there's a reason for why these things have transpired the way they have transpired. And going back to that line, just in time, I will save the day. The Father is saying, you are about to understand. I know that the Father has called so many things to be in our lives because He does not want us to step ahead of Him. Because this move could change so much. That move could shift this thing and the Father does not want anything to hinder what He is doing. Be obedient if He says, don't move here yet. Don't purchase that home yet. Don't do A, B, and C. Because there are things He's allowing to happen to set you up for this next place. Your land of milk and honey. You don't know what the Father has your spouse doing in preparation for you. So the Father 
had to do a holy halt on a lot of our plans because it's simply not about our plans. It's about his plans. And if you stay at the father's feet, he is letting you know, this is of me, my child. Don't stress. Don't fret. This is of me. Trust the process. It will all make sense when it's time. So obedience is imperative Even if it doesn't make sense to you The Father has revealed to some of us That our ordained spouse Is going to swoop into our lives In just the nick of time And now let's look at that line That I was jumping ahead to In regards to taking you to a castle far away Like I say I saw that as the Father Preparing our home Our heavenly home And also ensuring that we experience heaven on earth But as it pertains to our kingdom spouses, our ordained spouses, I see that when this individual enters our life, it will be as if we are being swept away to a castle. Castles represent status. Castles represent royalty. And listen, that's going to be a drastic change in your lives, in your environment. Just everything, your atmosphere is going to change because you are colliding with destiny. It is the time and it's going to feel like you're just in a whole new world, a whole new world. I had to you all, but listen, that's what it's going to be like. It's going to be like a whole new world, your land of milk and honey. So many things are going to open up to you as you have these encounters, you all. And it is going to be as if he is taking you far away. See that far away as being Far away from anything you knew before. Far away from anything that does not look like what the Father has decreed and declared is yours in this season. It can't look the same. Your status is changing in every sense of the word, you all. He is going to take you away because the Father has showed him how to do so. It's going to be so worth it, you all, when you are standing face to face, hand in hand, with your ordained spouse. And you can say and you can confess we did it all for the glory of love. You have never experienced the love that you are about to experience now because you've been faithful and he's about to reward you with your knight in shining armor. You allowed the father to be your knight in shining armor and now he's providing that for you in the natural. You'll live forever knowing that together you did it all for the glory of love. So you all, I think that is it. Holy Spirit, is there anything else? I just pray you all were encouraged by this. There was so much. I hope I didn't overwhelm you, but I just had to get it all out. God's breaking us through. He's going ahead of us and breaking us through. And I know many of you have heard of the breaker anointing. The breaker anointing is what is taking place. And for many of us, for a select few of us, He's going to give us the anointing to break others through. Our story. What we have endured and how God is breaking us through is going to help others do the same. You sharing your story is going to be the breakthrough that so many people need as it pertains to waiting for these promises that God has called them to receive. I am so excited. I am so very excited. Thank you for those of you who have sown. May God bless you a thousandfold and then some. May he enrich every area of your lives and meet every need that you have. Listen, it's about to get good. I'm trying to come down, you all, but I'm just so excited. Be sure to share your testimonies because, listen, I know they're about to start pouring in. I just know it. Let me get off of here because I need to have a moment. I love you guys so much. Be blessed. And until next time, toodles.